Hello people, I am Bharat Acharya. Welcome to our new video. So, in today's video, we are going to learn interfacing of 8254 with 8085. Now, you know what is 8085? That's your main MUPI. 8254, some colleges also learn 8253. They are called programmable interval timers. There is a very small difference between 8253 and 8254. 8254 has a read back command, 8253 doesn't have. But that's got nothing to do with the interface. So, even if you are learning 8253, the diagram applies exactly the same to you. Before I start, what are these chips used for? What is 8254 used for? It is a programmable interval timer. So, what can you do with it? So much. It is used to produce delays. Look here. Suppose this is in the back panel of your microwave oven. Okay, I hope you are not hungry. If you are, sorry, <laughs> we will change the example then. So, what do you do? You put food inside, you shut the door, you select 30 seconds, you press start. 30 seconds, cooking is done, the food comes out, hopefully cooked the way you want it. What happened in the background? When you shut the door and you selected 30 seconds, the processor gives an appropriate count. That count gets stored into one of the three counters, whichever you have chosen as a programmer. Let's say counter 0. Now, once that count is stored, you press start button. Your pressing of start button makes gate signal is equal to 1. The moment gate becomes 1, counting starts. Now, the 30 will become 29, then become 28. Now, that won't happen whenever it feels like. It needs an appropriate clock for that. That clock is given on this clock signal. On every clock pulse, count will go on getting decremented. Suddenly, you find it interesting, right? Of course, all of this is, this is engineering. This is mind-blowing interesting if you know how to relate all of this with your real world. Anyway, coming back. So, it's going to take about 30 seconds. When the counting is over, what happens? An output is given. This output is the one that rings that alarm that tells you that the cooking is over, switches off the heater, opens the gate so the food comes out for you. So, is it interesting? That is just one of the examples. There are so many other things you can do. There are continuous modes. In a continuous modes, you can in continuous modes you can produce waveforms. We are also going to do in the same video a program to generate a square square wave frequency, a frequency of 1 kilohertz from an input frequency of 16.5 to 5 megahertz. Yeah, when you hear it for the first time, it sounds very dry. That is how we finish most of our engineering without really understanding what we are learning. But if you understand what it is, it is so crazy. Now, what does that mean? The input frequency is 16.5 to 5 megahertz. Based on that, you calculate the count. You give an appropriate count so the output frequency is 1 kilohertz. So, at this frequency, you will get a square wave. Students say, so what? What did you achieve by generating a square wave? Yeah, when you see it on the screen, it is a boring square wave. In remove that screen. Put an LED over here. What you get is a blinking LED. Put a shower over here. What do you get? Those spouts of a shower. You can do so many other things. Now your creative mind has started working. Now I don't need to tell you. Give it to a series of lights. You will have alternate lights going on, off, on, off and so on. So you can do all of that using timer chips. Anyway, so in the interfacing, first I am going to teach you how to separate address bus and data bus, the demultiplexing of address data buses. Then from the address bus, you give A0, A1 lines. From the data bus, you give D0 to D7. From control signals, you give I read, I write. Yes, will sound very dry if you don't know the meaning behind it. But I am going to teach you all of that. I am going to teach you what these lines do, why are they required. Clock, gate and out, what is the actual goal? I have given a hint of it. I am going to be giving you more. Then the most important signal where all the marks lie, CS bar. CS stands for chip select. Now, this signal comes from a decoding circuit. I have kept the circuit empty over here purposely because I do not want to draw this and explain it to you. I want to draw it while we do it, while we do the explanation because there is so much in it to understand. If I show it all to you before explaining it to you, your mind will start thinking wrong things. So, I am not going to show the decoding now. As we do it, you will understand. To do the decoding, first you take a map that is called an IO map of 8254. You need an address. IO addresses are 8 bit addresses, so you can take any address from 00, 00 to FF. So, you will take any suitable address like 80 or any address given in the exam question, whatever the exam, examiner gives you. You take the address, you make a map. Based on the map, you do your decoding. I repeat, this is where all the marks lie. Your decoding has to be spot on so that the chip can only be selected at the address that you have chosen in the map, no other address. What it simply means is your printer as an example on your motherboard where the printer is connected to the port of your computer, that port has an address. So, only when you wish to print something, it should get printed. If you want to watch something on the monitor, it should not come on the printer. That is because monitor has its own address, printer has its own address. Somebody has done this kind of decoding on our motherboard so that every device gets selected on its particular address. So, I am going to show you that decoding. And then finally, as we promised, 
I am going to do this program. It is a typical exam question that comes along with the interfacing. It may come as an independent question also especially if you are preparing for gate exam. It will be an independent question write a program to generate a frequency a square wave or any kind of waveform from an input frequency. So, the parameters that change are your output frequency and your input frequency based on that you calculate your count. Then I will show you how to give the count is a procedure for giving the count and a square wave will not be produced just like that. You have to program the control word. Yes, if you learn the theory of A254, there is a control word. In the control word, there are various bits. Those bits have to be programmed correctly so that you can produce a square wave. So, I am going to show you all of that. That is the scope of this video. Now, you know this. This was an introduction. You want to watch the whole video. You want to enjoy learning this subject. You want to learn the subject from me. Come to my website that is www.bharataacharyaeducation.com. The link will be given down below. Log into the website, uh, select the channel 8085. This video will be there in the 8085 channel. It is not just this video, there are about 35 40 videos covering all of 8085. Whether you are BSc student, MSc student, engineering students, that is the majority of the students that uh, learn 8085, whether you are preparing for gate exam or whichever way, whether you are just learning it for knowledge, that is my kind of student. Anyway, you, everything that you need will be there in the website starting from architecture, pin diagram, flag register, addressing modes, the whole instruction set, programming, stacks, delays, interrupts, simrim instructions and so on and all the peripheral chips and then finally the whole system designing. So, you will see all those videos on the website, uh, there are about 35, 40 videos. Your subscription, uh, once you make the payment, of course, this is a payment, this is not my hobby, this is my profession, this is professional service, we work on this day in day out. So, obviously, we kept a charge, but the charge is as low as possible, it is ridiculously low as compared to what we charge in the classroom, it is about 999 rupees. Once you make the payment, the site opens up, you can start watching all the videos, your subscription remains active for 6 months. You can watch the videos as many times as you want. Uh, along with every video, you also get a PDF which is the theory of that particular topic. So, that you not only understand things from the video, but you also know what to write in the exam. Your exam answers are all there in, the, in those PDFs. Okay? Hope to see you there, irrespective of whether you are there or not. Uh, Enjoy learning this subject. This is one of the best subjects of engineering. The more you learn it, the more you develop yourself as an engineer. Enjoy the experience. All the best. Do well.